Hi so, everybody. We sorry, are back. There is now <laughs> there is sound. Excellent. Now it's working, I guess. Yeah. There was a sound problem. It's my fault actually. I think it's uh just wait, let me turn this up. Yeah, perfect. Now it's working, I guess. Yes. Ah, there <laughs> I like my French accent, huh? It's terrible. So we okay. were saying not much, just like Demante will play against eleven players from Amosmith. And uh, she's a tiger and she played like with me four years for the Celtic Tigers. And um, I came to London last year to make a masterclass in Amersmith Chess Club. And yep. uh, Matthew's a long time friend of our club. Um, Hammersmith's one of the largest clubs in London. And uh, yeah, let's let's see how they fight today versus one of the greatest female players uh, in the world. Hmm. So, so as you said, it will be difficult for her because she has only 30 minutes in, on every board, but everybody has 30 minutes, so they can think much more. And if they play fast, she can run, run low on time. Yeah, so I, I was trying to show the first game, it's bishop c5, a bit early, because now knight take e5 is working. The point is, if you take, I go d4, and it's a fork. And uh, in this case, white uh, has the center, so it's quite good. So black took on f2. But now white has the center. The king looks a bit strange on f2, but actually it's okay. For example, we can develop the bishop, then the rook, and we make like a castle, uh, artificial castle. So what, what makes it so safe um, with it open? I guess black doesn't have their dark square bishop. Yes, so exactly. So it's a lot harder to, to take advantage of it. So there is two problems for black in this position. No dark square bishop and no pawn in the center. So it's just slightly better for white, but okay, everything can happen. No? So what are you, what are you saying? Clear, clear win already for, for Diamante on board? No, <laughs> good age, like bishop c4, rook f1, and you finish the development, and then your king will be safe when you put the rook on f1, the king on g1. Nice. Okay, okay. let's try to go to another board. Uh huh. Do you know this happening or not? That's interesting. I there is a book I don't know if you know it. It's called uh, Expert on the Anti Sicilian. It was like published by Quality Chess fifteen years ago, and I wrote eight chapters in the book on this position. Oh really? What <laughs> yes. this exact position? Yeah, and I you know there is no name, so I call it the Tiviakov um, attack because he was the the grandmaster who played it a lot. The point is to, to play like a Rosolimo, but the Rosolimo normally is a knight on f3 instead of knight on c3. So here the best mm -hmm. move for black is to take this like as an average change to play knight g4 because the knight is not on f3. And in the game black played g6, but now we can play exactly like a Rosolimo. But look, the knight is not on f3, so we can develop the knight on f3, but later on play f4 first, then knight f3. And uh, it's quite good for white normally. So what what what's the disadvantage then? Why do most people play f four so early instead of bishop b five? Because is the, is that the main line or? In, I believe bishop b five is the best move. For example, okay. I played last year with black against Ali Ali Reza Firuzia. I guess you know him, no? Yeah, yeah. The oh, sixteen years old it. prodigy, and he played against me bishop b five. Okay. It's quite fashionable. It's quite interesting. Okay, the I, the idea after bishop e5 is to take to spoil the um, pawn structure, and mm. the main difference with the Rosolimo with the knight on f3 is we can play f4 in one move. Mm. But the big problem is we let the square on d4. So the best move for black is to play knight d4, and it's the move I played with black. Okay. How did you go in that game? I drew. Oh, you drew. Okay, so cool. against the future world champion, you have a draw. Yeah, yeah. but you know, I uh, <laughs> I like to play very strong players. I drew against Carlsen when he was young also. And uh, oh. Ferruja, I really hope he will be uh, the next world champion. Nice. Okay, let's so. continue. So this is, this yeah, you this know, the opening. More, more sensible, more sensible opening. Yeah, this is just a Spanish. Demante likes to play this way. And I'm quite sure she will, the follow up will be nice this way and a three. It's, um, it used to be a bit strange, but now it's quite fashionable. The point is the knight wants to go to d5 and and later on play c3 and d4. It's a bit slow, but it makes a lot of sense and uh, it's quite decent. And recently in the candidate tournament, there is a fantastic win by um, Maxim Vachelagrave against Ding Liren. 
in this line. Maybe you saw it, no? Um, no, do you, know, do you know what? I am actually the worst in that type of stuff. I don't really remember many games, and I, I'm surprised I'm as good a player as I am. <laughs> okay, next one. So, but that's why we've got you here, for the chess history, the chess knowledge, and the, the masterclass. Mm. Okay, it's quite interesting. It's Sicilian once again with nice history. But here, black play a6. You know, they play a6 most of the time because people who play knight c3, they like to go g3. Yeah, can, can, I, the... can I just pause you there for a sec? So knight, knight c3, that's extremely fashionable in England. Um, how, how do you find it at the tournament level as a grandmaster? Do you find you see it a lot or um, is it mainly just an English weapon? Um, but actually, there is a main difference because in, in England, I notice they always go f4, mm -hmm. knight f3 and bishop c4. Me, I like to play with knight b with bishop b5. It's different. Mm. And for example, here me, I won a very nice game last year with g3 and the bishop g2 knight h3. But okay. uh, look what Demonte did. She played knight f3, and now the, her point is to transpose in some normal Sicilian, where black has already played this. So it makes sense actually. Now the threat is probably b4, and the pawn is hanging, so she defended it. Okay, here she didn't play the best move. The best move is the rookie one, with sometimes some ide some nice idea with knight d5. Mm -hmm. And actually, I played this position once against uh, Mamedov, the very strong on master from Azerbaijan. And I lost, but I was better. But the rookie one is the good move. She just developed, but now she has a problem to defend the pawn. Before the threat, for example. Yeah. So. so I don't is she, do you think she's planning to sacrifice the pawn or what? How did... Actually, it's a, it's a good question. Okay, what to do? She has to. If she wants to protect, she has to go f3, but do we want to play f3? What about a3? Uh, yeah, f3, I didn't think about this one. <laughs> yeah, but in this case, black will have like quite an easy game, like knight d7, bishop d7, knight c5, and the pawn will be under mm. pressure anyway. Okay. I, I really don't like bishop d3. For example, it was better to go just hook one. Mm. And if the knight going to f6, maybe bishop g5. Mm. And just you have the space still. Mm. There is another idea in this kind of position after rook one, and sometimes to go a4 to ask a question because black doesn't like to take here because it gives the target on a6. And if they push, now it gives the target on b4. You can go knight a2 and try to attack this pawn. So I think it was yeah a little mistake here. Okay, there's nothing done, but... Uh, not so easy and she's starting to be low on time mm. yeah because that's the challenge when you're playing 11 boards so she has 30 35 minutes or 30 minutes so, so she good. really only has three minutes a game versus these players who are going to have 30 minutes plus a game so it's it's a very you can feel like you have a lot of time when you're playing a simo and it can disappear very very quickly the the goal is to try and get uh, a quick win one or two quick wins means you have less boards to play which means you can take a bit more time yeah, let's, exactly. Let's, let's see how it goes. Okay, looks like there is one board the guy is not playing yet. It's a pity. Hey, Ed, Eddie. He, <laughs> Eddie Goldman, or fast guy Eddie, that we, we call him. Uh, you think he will arrive? Or? He's not so fast at the moment, I guess. <laughs> okay, next one. It's like, uh, it's a French. Ah, oh, no, it's not a French. Ah, it is a French. <laughs> it's a French okay. with a pawn on A6. Okay, I don't know it. That's an unusual. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's it, a it bit, seems it's, unusual. It's a bit strange, um, but okay, actually, I don't know, I don't see any big problem. Uh huh. So now she took. Okay, the point of this position is at the at white will take on d five at some point, and they will they will try to play against the isolated pawn. Yeah. For example, here I can take on d5, just go castle, and then my bishop will go to g5, and I will try to hours this pawn on d5. Ah, sorry for the hours. I will try to attack the pawn on d5. This position is well known, but with the knight on d2, not on c3. Okay, so, so I, with the knight on c3, it's much easier putting pressure against the pawn. Exactly, or... it's what I meant. With the knight on c3, and if you go d4, I can go knight e2, and once again attack this pawn on d4. So probably here white has to just take on d5 and cast some next.
But maybe the idea of black is to take with the knight, actually. After pawn mm -hmm. takes d5, maybe knight take and try not to, to take with the piece, not to have an isolated pawn. And, and, and you, why I would never want to play something like a5, push, pushing the pawn up? No. This, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. Knight d7. Then black will go knight c6 to attack the pawn. But white will have also some argument like a castle, bishop f4. And the main point will be if black is going castle, bishop take h7 will be working. Mm. Because I played this when I was young with white. I won game like this many times. So maybe e5 is okay, you're white. Yeah. So it's yeah, because that's quite a common sort of setup. And then putting the pawn there, then attacking up the king side. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Ah, this is interesting. So this is interesting. Really? What what makes you think it's interesting? Does the position just give memories in your head or what? No, but why it's interesting? Because um, what happened after G5? Do you know this? Mm. No, I've, I, I don't know this. Is, is this a trap or something? Um, yes, kind of, because no, he's not. For sometimes, knight takes g5 is working. But the one fantastic idea was found like five years ago is bishop g3, yeah. g4, and now we come back on h4. Ah. We give the piece and queen takes, and you, it looks stupid because if you compare with knight takes g5, it looks like black has an extra pawn on h6. Mm. But this pawn is bad for black because you don't have rook h8. Mm. This is fantastic. But now in the game, unfortunately for black, I believe they made a mistake, no? They play knight a5. So now white can take on a6 and go b4 and win a piece. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty deadly. Yeah. So, okay. I think this one will be good for, will be okay for the Monte. That would be nice. That's one of those quick wins. Yes. But uh, I, it, it sort of depends how long someone fights on as well, because if they don't give up quickly, they can drag the game out. Time pressure becomes yeah, bigger, true, but true. at least you won't have to think too much. Uh -huh. This is a Karoken, oh. advanced Karoken with C5. It starts to be very fashionable. The point is if white try to consolidate the center with C3, Knight F3, mm -hmm. black will play some kind of French with the bishop out. They will go like bishop G4. Mm -hmm. This is the main point, because if you look, it's quite strange to play C6, then two moves later, C5. But the point of this is to be able to put the bishop out on f5 or on g4. So in this case, white decided to take. Now, okay, they will close the bishop, but at least white was forced to take on c5. So it's like um, they lose a tempo, but they win something in exchange. But here, the Monte doesn't remember mm. the theory. Here, the good move is to go here, bishop d3, and then you wait for knight c6 to go b4. I played twi twice this last summer. I won a very nice game against Christian Boyle. Are, the French are you master. sure she doesn't uh, remember the theory? She she didn't come up with a novelty, maybe. No, no, no. First of all, it <laughs> isn't that what you call it? <laughs> first of all, it exists. A second of all, I know that she forgot because I sh I'm the one in the couple who's making the preparation, and I can tell you this is not what she should know. Uh, okay. But okay, it's not too bad. The point of this position, whites want to develop the bishop here, knight on d2, bishop on d3 probably, and at some point go c4 to open the position in the center. And um, it's quite decent for white, but the problem is not the knight can go here and have the square on c5. Mm -hmm. So okay, everything can happen here. It's just very interesting. Okay, cool. What else? That's okay. good, we need a few interesting games. Yes. Okay, th there was many interesting games, actually. What about this? Well, this should be some Sicilian, I guess. Yeah, but... Let's see. Nice. So it's some Nashdorf. She went the old-fashioned line, Bishop E2. Now it's called the Scheveningen um, structure. Uh, it's, um, it's very dynamic because it keeps all the pieces on the board, it, so it's very complicated. She went for the odd, ah, queen d3, it was my almost novelty like uh, 15 years ago. Because oh, really? normally everybody is going this. Uh, oh. Bishop e3, bishop then queen e1, king h1, queen g3. And then I found this new novelty to go here, king h1, and then I bring my queen here or here. 
So it was like a new idea. I okay. won mini games, but I also lost them. But look what she did. She forgot to play King H1. <laughs> and now, okay, so now it was very tricky. I'm sure she wanted to play Bishop E3, mm -hmm. but she was afraid of Queen takes B2. Mm. And the point when you have no time, even if it's bad, you you don't know what to do. And uh, black is also threatening like e5 right now, winning a piece. For example, if we go rook d1, e5 is a real problem. So look what she did, something she doesn't want to do. Queen f2, g5. Uh -huh, e5, knight e4. Okay, what about this position? So not so bad. She can, uh, oh, she's got to put her bishop on a3, yeah? But uh, look at the move she played. <laughs> or, or knight. Oh. Okay, uh, I did. She just want to win a pawn. If you put the knight, at least bishop c5 is no longer a threat. Mm -hmm. And now she just want to go c3, protect mm -hmm. the knight on d4, mm -hmm. and say, okay, guy, I will win the pawn on e4 at some point. Interesting. So she's just going to take her time, win a pawn, and then just. Yes. Hey, pawn to pawn, isn't it? <laughs> how to protect it? Maybe f5? But a5 looks very ugly. I can even take on f6. La... Mm. How do we say in English? We say the French word or? En passant? En passant. It's French. Huh? <laughs> it definitely sounds French. Yes. <laughs> it's not Australian, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay. okay, this is interesting. Uh, I believe maybe f5 is the move. Because if not, you just lose a. F ah, the guy is playing so fast. Mm, he's trying to play for time. And hope that she maybe runs out of time. Yeah, actually, it's not so stupid. <laughs> okay, what do I do if I take? And what f? Maybe knight f8? No, well, well, what else? Mm. You can't You can't go f5? No. There's no point, is there? You mean after queen take e4? Yeah. I can just move the queen back. Queen, queen yeah. e3 and... It's the same position, just have win a pawn. No, I thought his idea was to move the knight to mm. put pressure on this. But you can always put the f rook across the Yeah, rook d1. Okay. Ah, maybe his idea is rook b8, then go knight c6 and bring a next up piece. But honestly, I, I believe it's bad for black because I can go rook d1, as you said. Yeah. And after knight c6, bishop e3. Because at some point, I can give you this one. Because look, the development with the knight on c6, yeah. rook on a8. And once once you take the pawn as well, you can always give back the pawn. Yes, on C3, exactly. So, so yeah, it makes sense. Ah, she played the good. I think she played a good move. No, I, I prefer. Yeah, I yeah, prefer who? white. But it's okay. It's still complicated, and the guy is playing super fast, so he has time to think now. What else? Well, uh, this oh, this yeah, looks crushing. Ah, look, it's the second guy. Play bishop c5. So this this is actually Reluca. She's um, a diversity officer on the Hammersmith Chess Club. Uh -huh. um, you know we're always looking to expand our member base and just making sure we we tackle all, all the community. Um, so that's sort of her role within our our club. But uh, uh -huh, yeah. nice. But you need to learn that the by principle it's better to put the knight first on c on f6 then go bishop c5. Bishop c5 give this trick with knight take e5. We saw also already this in a previous game. Yep. And um, here the best for black actually is to take. We go d4 and now we go bishop d6 and we give back the piece. But at least we have like, a at the end we have like a strong bishop on, d on e5. And uh, actually it's quite playable. I played the same position against Mamedjarov in uh, 19 no, in 2001 like 20 years ago <laughs> really wow. yeah so, but okay. it was like a reverse color but it was exactly the same and okay so, so so it's not so bad then to not yeah but with the, it was <laughs> opposite color so um, i played bishop c4 with um, white and it was not that good in this case black had, uh, could equalize so in ah. this case with white it's slightly better yeah that makes sense Okay, so let's see. She went f ah, f6. It's a mistake. Oh. Now queen h5 is just yeah, winning. Huh? If we take here, we can actually we can take on c5, but we can okay take the rook 
is the best. And actually here we're threatening already to, to, to win the rook with this cover check. It's thought, uh, unfortunately, it's already over for black. Yeah, it's too bad as well because f6 also blocks her queen from getting out. So any yeah. sort of counterplay down onto f2, it's, uh, yeah, poor. That's, that's unlucky. Hey, but yes. that's just chess for you, isn't it? Yeah. This is why you've got to study your tactics. Yes, and actually, we can also, it's always good to check those games because now she will remember you never play bishop c5 too fast and f6, there is a wall. You don't touch this pawn because after f6, your king will be too weak. Yeah, you never want to touch f6. So uh -huh. don't touch your f pawn unless it's um, necessary. What, is, do you think it's the way people are taught nowadays? Because, you know, everyone's trying to learn opening theory, playing all sorts of, you know, really exciting lines. Whereas actually, you know what, if you just develop your pieces, put them out, it's very hard to beat you. Mm -hmm. You have a very good game. That's yeah, and, and okay, recently with new computer and so on, that we, we, we start to think a bit differently. But at the end, what is good is to develop the pieces, put the piece in the center, <laughs> there is no like uh, miracle recipe. Yeah, it's never a bad de decision. It's, a, it's always good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and at least it's the way to learn chess. Mm. This is for sure. Okay, this oh. we saw. Ah, and one more board. Wow, oh. some sharp Sicilian again. It's quite exciting. And she played e4 in every game. Huh? Wow. Yeah. Ah, e6, the old uh, line. And g4, yeah. called the KRS attack. The idea is to go g5, h4, and to push everything. Eh? Now, what is quite fashionable is to go e5, or, or at least h6 first, then e5, some sharp line. Carlsen played it once recently against Nakamura. Okay, okay this is just too slow for black. In general, if you okay to let g5, it's better to play some like useful move on the queen side and after g5 put the knight this one on d7 then here and then this one on d7 because in the game after g5 you don't have the square for the knight so you are forced to go back home and it's a bit sad yeah there's a lot of space that white has and uh, i guess with these sort of positions you have to really know what you're doing um yes, exactly. as black if yeah and the white will will go long castle, so bishop is three. It's normal. Okay, it's attacking the pawn. So h4, rook g1. Yeah, she played it. And and look what she did. Tri tricky girl. Huh? She she want to take the pawn. But actually, it would have been funny if he takes takes and b6 try to trap the bishop. Ah, but it's not working well. Queen. Yeah. Because I can go queen, queen d4, threatening yeah. this. Yeah, ouch. <laughs> and then bishop b5, take and take on b6. Okay, it's a bit complicated. So, but, so I believe what she played was good. <laughs> but but actually, you know, what's interesting to look at is these positions often fall apart when you played one or two bad moves in the opening. Like yeah. if you just stick to developing, controlling your space, it's very, very hard for tactics to come. Yes, and it's kind of position or quite difficult to play because it's uh, very sharp. All those structures of spawn on e6, d6 are always very complicated because there is many things to to have in mind, like f5, e5, knight b5, knight d5. So um, it's a bit risky. Okay, she won bishop f4 to take on d6. So e5 makes sense. But now the problem is there is a big hole in, in d5. Mm. Oof. Oh wow, Oof. it's looking scary, isn't it? <laughs> yes. For example, she's threatening like knight c7 and bishop b5, winning the queen. The win, the queen is trapped in the middle of the board. Wow. Okay, so now she can win the queen. Rook b8 was just played. Okay, so we checked every game. So you pick the next one. Oh, I'll, I'll pick the next one. Okay, let's let's go back to board one because we uh we sort of said. It was an interesting sacrifice that we didn't think was a, a good decision. Let's let's sort of see how the game played she, out. She won bishop e2 instead of bishop c4, but okay, so it's not so So this bad. is, just a reminder, this is what he was talking about. You can manually castle. Yeah, but she so did even though she, she did. didn't do it in one move, she puts the king to f2, the rook across, and the king back. And actually, you can waste a little bit of time because uh, of your development advantage. But look, yeah, exactly. It looks like it was slow, but actually, look the development. White is ahead, definitely. 
But what is strange, she won bishop c4 now. So I don't know why she didn't. So, so just just a practical advice, because you know we always know what's perfect to play in chess. What would you do if you found yourself in a situation like black? Like, how do you dig your way out of it? Like, what are the things you have to think about to go? Okay, my position's not so good. I'm a bit cramped. Do I just have to attack and go for it? Do I play it safe and sit there? <laughs> what I think goes through your head? here you need. I will actually. I believe black play very well here. It's better to go here because if you go on f6, you can be pinned, and uh, for, with the king on g1. The rook on f1 start to attack the f file. So I think this was a good move. And I really like c6. Uh, blacks want to push d5 and ask a question to the pawn. If we push, for example, now we can have the square on, on f5. I believe... Uh, okay, so you think just be patient, don't panic. Try yeah, you need, for example, here, moves. most important, you need to finish your development. It's yeah. your main problem in your position. So look what black play very well here. Yeah. Because bishop take no f take, and if you check, black is ahead in development because the rook is still uh, the rook mm. on a1 and bishop still on c1. So she, she or oh, she made the, like bishop e2, bishop c4, bishop d3. It's um, a bit shaky, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 27, good move, development. Okay, f5. Now it starts to be concrete, but actually it's quite decent because uh, once again, development. Mm. So bishop g5, at least she finished development now, take. Okay, how to assess this position? I don't know, it's quite unclear. But um, black has to be careful because of the two bishop. Mm -hmm. But why not? I'm not sure if, if black is worse, for example. So for the, those people that are just sort of watching, why are the two bishops so much better? Um, okay, for, for a nice reason. Um, when you have two bishops, you can play on the light square and on the dark square. And for example, if we trade, for example, this, we black won't have a bishop to go on the dark square. So when we have two bishops, and your opponent doesn't have, we can play on dark square in this case. I mean, we can play in some uh, other square, color of square. I don't know how to explain. Here, for example, white wants to play on the dark square. Yeah. Or do, or do you say it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's right. Play, we say the same. Play on the dark squares. Yeah. Have a look for, for weaknesses yes. in, in the dark squares because, like you said, it's harder for, for black to defend those. And there is an also, an also, also another advantage of two bishops in, in the end games. Imagine you have a bishop here and here. You attack both, both um, part of the board. If you have just a knight, if it's against a knight, we said in French that the knight has a short leg. <laughs> So yeah, he has a problem to cover the queen side and the king side at the same time. Mm. But okay, in close position, for example, knights are often very strong. Okay, so, so, so you sort of really have to know the advantages of the pieces and make sure you play your game to, to match those. Exactly. It's always good to think about your pieces before playing a move. <laughs> and um, <laughs> for example, yes, I don't know what I will do with black. Okay, on d5 and trade pieces. Ah, but is it a blunder? No, it's not clear. Mm. Because next move will be rook e8. Maybe it was a good blunder. But... Mm, check. Oh yeah, no, it takes six. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like it's working for black. Why um, would... Why, why can't the queen take... Oh, because of the knight. Okay. So here, for example, when bishop takes, if you're going to lose the, the bishop, why would you not take that with the queen Yeah. And, and maintain your pawn structure? Honestly, I don't understand. Maybe it's just a mistake, no? Oh, okay. Okay, so not so bad. Yeah, black is, black is fine, actually. They are threatening, for example, to give check and win the pawn. Mm. So maybe white has to move the king, but it looks suspicious already. Mm. Okay, sometimes two pawns like this are not so bad because you control many square in the center. But the problem is if you lose one, you start to lose everything and your position is falling apart. Okay, so t tough position there. All yeah, right. Maybe she's ah, she moved the king, but maybe she's slightly worse. You're right. Okay. Okay, but like, like you said, when you're moving so quickly, it's very easy to miss, and if we look at the games now, like what it's it's what uh, thirty minutes in, 
and she doesn't have any quick wins yet. Um, you'd sort of expect to maybe win a game or two by now. So she's her job's actually going to become quite difficult now, and she'll have to move faster and faster. Uh, she does get 30 seconds every time she makes a move, but um, is, is she quite used to online chess? Matthew? No. She's really? quite okay. slow, so, so it that will is be quite tough. Yeah. yeah. Okay, look at this position. It's very interesting because she played very nice positionally. Now that with the hole here, and all the point of this system is to win this pawn. Look what she did, she attacked the pawn. Now the pawn is very weak. Mm. And she win the pawn slowly but surely. Mm. Like uh, easy money. Now it's just a pawn up, and look the bishop is so stupid. You know, that is something is quite funny because we always say that when the pawn on the color of the bishop, the bishop is good. But sometimes <laughs> is even more bad. Look, is like uh, eating a rock. Yeah, and there's no quite easy way for her to get out. So would would for example, Black be thinking about playing a move like e5 now to try and break open, so then they can move the bishop back and get it out the other side uh, of the board. Uh, I didn't think about this. Yeah, maybe you're right. Like, but the thing is, it looks, become, it looks yeah. also dangerous to open the f5. Mm. Mm. For example, if I was white, I would go quickly like knight g3, knight e4. Okay, white, white is a pawn up, just white is better. Cool. Uh, which board? Okay, this board, there is a lot of action. What is going on? Okay, so where, where we, are we... we left here and we noticed that ah, Black yeah. was playing super fast. So did she decide to take the pawn? So she did. Okay, so you are right. The... And at some point she gave back. Ah, nice idea. Threatening main and black doesn't want much to weaken the dark square. King H1 to end Pinos the boom. Wow, so she just goes, actually, all my pieces are attacking your king. Exactly. For I'll example, if you take, two. I want mm. to give the knight and mm. the, take with the queen, threatening queen take f7, queen take h7. Uh, so she played a very good game. Or not. No, I think she she played very good. Mm. Now the, she's a pawn done, but she's threatening bishop. And how to protect? If you protect with the rook, and I can always attack with my what bishop. If, what What about putting the rook in the way? If you move the rook to e6. But for example, now when I'm moving my queen, mm -hmm. I will be able to push my two d5 and e6 pawn. Mm, probably so should get a nice move yeah okay so it's uh it's looking a bit scary ah, i lose your song I what did i end up playing here to try and stop this yeah now it looks very dangerous and look what he did he give he give back a piece okay oh, but maybe it's working where the queen is going no what the fuck? <laughs> oh it's possible mm. black is winning no no, you can go down to d3. Ah, you can go to d3, rook d8, queen e2. Okay, you're you're stronger than me, huh? <laughs> rook d8 yeah. and now you're like queen e2, huh? Only move. Oh, but what about... Queen takes you can't, e5? You, you can't, go, can't go to b, b3? To b3? Yeah. Yes, true. I see nothing, yeah? Tonight. <laughs> but uh, look, at the end, black will have many points. But they have a pawn, yeah, exactly. So that'll be quite interesting. So yeah, it will be I... like a piece for three or four pawns. So it will be mm. like very interesting. Mm, um, very interesting end game we have here. Oh, there we go. We've got a victory. So she's won one game. One, which one? Oh, look at that. She only had to make one move. She scared her opponent into submission. This one? I oh, know this one is still going on, but okay, she's winning the queen. Oh, uh, it was that game where her opponent didn't play. Ah, okay. <laughs> but look <laughs> look what happens here. Okay, ah, okay. So we... he, he took the pawn and now she's just a piece up. Mm. But actually, I believe Black didn't play very precise because now, okay, there is um, three pawns, but the bishop looks quite strong on a dark square. Mm. So what, what's White's goal now to try and get the rooks onto the seventh rank? Or how, how would you think the best about... will be to try to create some uh, bishop b2, wow. queen c3 threat mm. and provoke f6. And then at least you win back a pawn. And you're right, bring the rook on the 7th rank, it's 
Okay, it's... but this is like what you were talking about playing on the dark squares, like having the bishop. It's just yes. uh, it's very hard to defend, especially with the rooks. Um, okay, interesting game. But you're right. You, you need to go on the last on the seventh, maybe. Mm. Ah, but he's always tricky, huh? You know, he wants rook d8, and there is some pin. <laughs> yeah, and she can't get quite tricky playing like like rook on a to e. No, because queen take e1, yeah, of course. Yeah, then rook takes, and then bishop back, or is that too risky, maybe? <laughs> maybe rook d1 just to consolidate. Yeah, okay. But I have a bad news for Demonte. Baby just woke up. Oh, no. <laughs> so she's going to get more destructive. Uh, definitely, yeah. Um, which board do you want to see? Well, <laughs> well if you need to step in <laughs> make some of her moves, I don't know if that's allowed on Lee Chest. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Which board do you um, want? Let's have a look at where are we? Maybe this one. What about what about? Uh, go, um, go back go back one for a sec. The, just just this one. I want to see. There is something unusual. Black was thinking long. So oh, yeah. it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, you're right. A lot of the games, it looks like they're trying to beat her on time. But can you explain me why if I was not late? Yeah? Um, because it's because it's white. Oh, why white doesn't play e5? Yes, because take. I want to take, and if you take, I go rook take f6 at the end. Do you hear Victoria? Mm. You hear Victoria or not? Not the baby. You don't hear. Yeah, I see what you mean. So okay, so for example, if if push up, maybe you could play. Mm. You can't move the knight because you're mating one. Mm -hmm. So you have yeah. to take. I take. You have to take. You can't. Yeah. So rook takes. Yeah. Maybe. Ah, maybe. Knight okay. Take knight, knight take bishop. Yeah. Yeah. Knight take bishops. And now the rook is losing. Ah. So she. Oh. So she. <laughs> I, this is why actually I believe black uh, was thinking, because it start to be dangerous. Yeah. And you know in this position sometimes black is threatening to rook takes this way to spoil the pawn structure and win the pawn on e4 for example or bishop take e4 and it can be not so i really okay 92 is a good move probably and uh, if knight c5 maybe knight g3 simply to protect the pawn on e4 mm -hmm. and you oh in general take with the pawn on d3 is not a, such a big deal mm. yeah interesting no so this is very interesting position okay you want Queen c7. So now I don't know. Knight g3 or simply like hook e1. Mm. Definitely a lot of play in this position. Yeah, g4 <laughs> is also an idea, but yeah. Okay, she played rook e1. I like rook e1. Okay, which one you wanted? Hey, so I was suggesting why don't we have a look at um, game ten? I think Raluca's game, because we said that uh, playing an early f6, she should lose quite quickly. It looks like she's. She's found a way to hold her position together a little bit. Okay. She... Oh, so she sacrificed her rook completely. The rook and bishop, huh? And bishop. Yeah, so... Uh, now the question for why it's... It... Okay, the question is how long it will take, huh? Yeah, now okay. Now it's threatening so... b5 to win another piece. Ooh. That's often how it is in chess, isn't it? When it rains, it pours. <laughs> Everything falls falls away. Yes, exactly. Yeah, the, it's on. It's a bit stupid. So one mistake and uh, the game mm. is already over. Huh? This yeah, game is tough. Huh? It's a... <laughs> well, you know, hopefully it'll be a good lesson that she remembers. <laughs> yes, of course. Now she will never play f6 so quickly. Yeah. Um. What about this Karokan? Okay. Yeah. So this was looking quite interesting. Yeah. So Queen c7. Okay. Why not putting pressure here? So what, just before we sort of go into it a bit more, what are the sort of ideas that each side has? Like, is, is white trying to just maintain the space and then attack up the king side? Or does it have to counter, like, there, is black? There is two ideas for white, to try okay. to, get, to get some attack on the king. But I really believe, and actually it's my favorite idea in this kind of position, is try to play c4. Mm -hmm. Put the knight on d2, you castle rook e1, for example, you stabilize your piece, and then you go c4. And like this, you want to take here and put your knight, for example, on d6 at some point, like this. So and take advantage of like, having your pawn on e, yeah. e5 and just controlling the board and then play. Okay, not really giving black any chance to counterplay. Yes, exactly. But look, he played quite well, a4. You, you don't let uh, 
white to play a4 and to consolidate the pawn and maybe some bishop a3 at some point mm. so this was quite smart mm. okay now the position is very sharp uh-huh now yeah look every white played every move i told you yeah <laughs> now bishop f1 and now i'm quite sure she would go c4 next Mm. And also, there was an idea in this kind of position. You can go G3 and go H4 and try to ask a question of, uh, to, the, to this knight. And look, what to do with black? Mm. It's a question because F6 is, is the only, um, how we say in English, uh, when you challenge a pawn structure, how do we say? Oh, um, I'm not the best even, person. Even I I'm, I'm Australian. I'm not English, so <laughs> we'll, we'll, maybe there's an English person in the chat. I, I, you know, we call it trying to break a pawn chain. Yeah, yeah, okay, time. perfect. But, uh, but for example, yeah. here f6, it looks a bit dangerous because it will open the bishop on b2. Mm. So um, at the beginning, I like black position, but now more and more I'm thinking more. I believe that white will be better after c4 next. Okay. Put the rook on c1 and try to take with the knight and ask some question huh? yeah so and there's no real threats by uh playing that a5 move was there so there's it's not like um black's going to be out of take on b you know what I, anytime soon because it's I very well protected so i yeah. believe here okay queen c7 for me was like a um, lose of time a lose of time it was better to go fast this and f6 to take with the knight mm. and look in this case the bishop will be active the queen actually can be active knight g4 yeah. can be a threat I believe that knight c5 looks smart, but no, I don't see the point. e4 mm. is covered, so knight e4 is not a move. Knight a4 is not a move because of your own pawn. Mm. So um, I don't like the knight on c5 anymore, and I prefer white. And it's quite low on time, so mm. this is good for the Imante. Right. Yeah, and it gives her a bit of a break as well. She can make a few extra moves on uh, some of the other boards. So. Uh -huh. So... Okay, here she's a piece up. Ah, yes, she won the piece with B4. She's okay, so she, so she saw it. Wow, yes. amazing. So, okay. <laughs> this is why Norma you do your tactics. Yeah, normally she's good at it. Um, so maybe this one is the position she was worse. Will you yeah. remember? Yeah, it was really interesting how quick that position changed. Yeah, because the white was slightly better and suddenly slightly worse. So what happened? Queen e6, threatening queen e3. Sorry, e3 check to win the pawn. Queen e3, good move, threatening the pawn. And she decided, ah, threatening mate if you take the pawn. Tricky, huh? The, always be careful at your back rank. Okay, he came back. Wow, she decided to give a pawn just for counter play. So what do, you, what do you think that she, she should do is like, should she be trying to just hold or like uh, what, what would you do? Not, it's not my wife. Huh? She wants to give mate. Huh? Uh, she wants to win. She wants to win every game. Yes, every game. So, okay. This position is quite interesting. She's lost, she lost a pawn, but look, the knight is a bit stupid and he can't move on huh, because it's mate. Mm. So now the question is how to bring the knight to the attack. This is the only question you have to ask yourself. Oh, my idea would be this, this, and this, but can I manage? I'm not sure. Mm. Because when I move the knight, you can go queen e4. And this is not an exchange I want. Mm. Yeah, so it's very hard to get the knight over. Yeah, but you know, maybe it's equal. Because if you move your queen, now I have queen e5 check. So for example, maybe here I have to go like king h2, some waiting moves. And mm. I don't see much all black can improve. So it's really hoping that, so what she should do is just play a few slow moves and hope that black gets bored yes. and tries to attack. But look the clock. She's quite mm. low on time. Yeah. Oh, I she's still got 10 minutes. Uh, let's let's see. If she can win a few of the games quickly, then she'll be able to hold out because um, if she's getting 30 seconds a move and has three boards, that should be enough to hold. Yeah, true. So, yeah. But actually, that's... the position is very interesting. It's very mm. double edged. Okay, it's pawned down, but... Looks like uh, compensation. Mm. For example, maybe you can bring, uh, for example, this can be an idea. Mm. Yeah, but I guess the risk is if you overpress. You yeah, can, yeah, you can, because you can okay, easily come he, back against she's you. a pendant, so. Mm. 
Okay, it will be interesting. Very interesting. Um, shall we? We uh, won't have one with that for a while. Which one? Yeah, yeah, that one, that one. We haven't looked at that for a bit. Uh, that she, was no, she made a big mistake here. She made a uh, big she mistake. She the pawn. She she forgot to protect it. So. Mm. Yeah, because now. Ah, but. Why she took? Ah, because knight takes his was a threat. Because, well, you can't move the knight now. So can she put pressure on it? No, she or... can. You can because the knight. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, maybe she forgot just this, and take mm. the bishop, and now it's very bad for her. She's just a pawn down. Okay, she. W I know her. Huh? She will push. Mm -hmm. And try to have some attack. Okay, she's the worst on this board. Okay, but there's still there's still good chances yeah. for her to put some pressure on. And well, that's that's often in a game. Hey, you need the initiative if you're going to go down pieces like or a pawn or two. But she's really very good at it. Try to find some counter play. She likes to play active moves. Mm -hmm. Okay, here bishop b7. Here the best move is to go like rook one, bishop d2. It's actually it's the game. Uh, I said earlier of Maxim actually have another plan for white. It's quite smart. It's a bit, a bit strange actually. It's knight e two, knight g three. And do you know why we play a three in this position? Um, is that so the bishop has a square to go to? Yes, exactly. Yep. Here after okay. d six, every time blacks play d six, they protect the pawn on e five. Mm -hmm. So now they have a threat of knight a five to win the two bishops. Mm -hmm. And so for example, here if if black start with d6, we need to go a3 first, castle, and then knight c3, and it's the same position. Mm. Okay, bishop g5, she didn't remember the terrain, but... but okay, I don't like knight d4. Looks like a strange move. Okay, she goes for it, but what about knight g4 now? Oh, yeah, because once you get it on that e e3 square, that's pretty annoying. Here I will have play like knight g3 first. Okay. And then f4 maybe. But here knight g4, I do you, you're not you're not worried about um getting the, the knight into e e3? Yes, I am. Oh but you this, are worried. Okay. This is this is why I will have played knight g3 first to prevent knight g4. Mm. Because now I don't know what she's planning. Maybe to take and just move the queen and say okay but actually it's, maybe it's very interesting because when the knight is here. I will go c3 at some point, mm. and how you will move. Ah, it will be very interesting. Yeah, okay. I see what you mean. And there's no easy way to get out. Yeah, yeah exactly. And for example, after c3, you can't take. You will be losing a pawn because the knight will be hanging. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, now this is very interesting, uh, actually. Mm. So which one you wanted? Um, yeah, so I was going to suggest that we have a look at the Freddy board too. Yeah, board two. So we left. We left. Because we were saying it was a pawn up, but then it started yeah. to look a bit more. Okay, she wants like uh, solid. Ah, she give back the pawn. This is a bit unfortunate. Okay, the pawn that she would like to take here, yeah. she did, but this pawn is hanging. Yeah. Why she did this? So what now? Black's starting to get a bit of a bit of pressure. No, but they, but... they used to have be a pawn down. No, they don't have a pawn down anymore. So, and yeah. after queen take f4, black is threatening uh, bishop e4. And there's no tricks. Like she's gonna put a rook back on f1 or something like that. Yeah, but d4 will be hanging. Yeah. Ah, yes, I see. So maybe, maybe after taking the pawn, she has to try to trade the queens like queen g3. My mm. point looks is, looks ugly. Looks ugly yes, there. Yeah. But my point is, if you take on, ah, but you can take on d4, because I wanted to take on b8 at the end, but it's queen takes d4 check, so I can't. Mm. So I don't know what is uh, ID. I guess she has to go to what c3 to get the queen off the the pin. But you said my move was ugly. <laughs> what about yours? <laughs> what? You think that's ugly? Okay, I don't know if there is some problem on G2, but I don't see. Maybe it's okay because your next move will be knight F3. But she need to do something uh, against um, mm. bishop E4 anyway. So 
Yeah, there's lots. Of, how about how about there's lots of ugly moves? <laughs> yes. There's no, no but, great. Uh, okay, she. Here yeah, she just blundered a pawn. Yeah, d4 was very bad move. She need just to to go b3 to consolidate and claim that she's upon nap. She can play slowly. I think she just missed c5. It's very well played because if you take, you take with the queen and the pawn is falling. Mm. Yeah. yeah, she missed c5 and uh, and why she can't take here? Ah, because queen c5 and we are pin. Yep. And c4 is angry. Ah, mm. so um, tough. Okay. Black. Tough. Yeah, this one is tough. She's not getting many breaks, is she? <laughs> no, and this one is looks bad now. Ah, black play, very good move. Queen a5 next. Ah, we missed this. Or at least I missed. Mm. Is there a point here where you want to just swap off the queens? And then uh, maybe try and get your rook on the 7th rank to get a draw? Yeah, but oh. You, so for example, you're just not on time. And actually yeah. h5 is also fallen. Mm. And for example, if you, yeah, I think it's not working because if you lose h5, I will go knight h6 g6, and then we control e7, you will never enter. Yeah, makes sense. So she did this, and now, okay, a point. No, why she? Ah, she didn't want to trade queens. Mm. But now, queen takes d4, it's probably just winning, yeah? Yeah, it's definitely looking difficult. <laughs> yeah, the point, our walk is pin, so we can't play some walk e8 and tricky stuff. Mm. Okay, this is bad. Oh, that's unfortunate. It was looking so good at the start. <laughs> yes. Look what he played here. It's very interesting. His point, if you take here, e4 will fall. But the point is, d4 also will fall. Mm. So I start to think, what about here? If I just go bishop a2 and let you with the weakness on d4. Mm. Like for example, going king h1 and take on d4 later. Now, this position is very interesting. But black is low on time. Mm. I don't know, because take, what about this? Take, take, maybe she can take. Take twice and take e4, take e7, take d4. <laughs> mm. It's a bit too complicated, huh? For mm. Definitely. It's a. Uh... It's definitely a position that you want more time to think about. <laughs> yes, exactly. Look what she did here. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have? So castle? Yeah, she wants e4. Because take, she can take with the knight. b5 is hanging, but you have 96 check and you're winning the bishop. Ah, uh, tricky. So now if do this. But now we will go rook c1 mm -hmm. to pin this. And at some point we will try to... I don't know, or to put something on d4. I would like to go like knight d4, f4, but yeah, okay, it's not so clear. It's still a game because uh, sometimes you can have some tricks with bishop a5 to pin. Um, if you go knight d4, the pawn can be hanging. Okay, rook c1 mm. is a good move. And now the, on the time, it's not a huge difference, so it's interesting. Yeah. Okay, I still believe white is slightly better, but. Uh, yeah, this Everything is, can happen. This is probably the sort of point in the games where her experience is going to come into it. We'll, we'll see a few people starting to blunder, make mistakes um, as, they, as they run short on time. Okay. Well, hopefully. Hopefully for her sake. Otherwise, it could, could get very tough. <laughs> yeah, now she lose a pawn and they should need to give a piece. But I don't believe it's working. Eh? Queen d7, bishop d4. Then check, yeah. Oh no, because of the bishop still. Yeah, okay. Ah, but actually... Ah, nice. Check. What about checking on g3? Then you win the queen. Yes. So queen d7. Ouch. Queen d7, maybe... Queen d5. Nah, this should be losing. But I was also thinking black can also play d5 to protect and we don't have much ideas. Hmm. Yeah, now she will lose this one. Yeah, that's a tricky move that night. Knight to g3, that's a cute, cute yeah, trap. Yeah, very nice tactic. Yeah. Look, this position we didn't check for a while. You know, it was a piece up. Okay, so we knew that we uh, she got a piece up for a bunch of pawns. Yeah. And um. And they trade pieces. 
War, but <laughs> what about this in game? What? Mm. I don't know. Maybe it's a draw, no? But look the clock. Yes, so it's two minutes. Yeah. So. I, I think he wants to go g5. White at some point will have to take one point if they want to win. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, some, well, you know, maybe more than one. Maybe take six. What, what, something interesting in this kind of end game, you always have to think, mm -hmm. is the um, color of the bishop. It's the same with the h pawn. So if you need to keep one pawn, keep the h, not the a. <laughs> because it's the good square. So would, would you give black any chances here? Or do you think that no, the, think the only, the only person that can win is white? Okay, in blitz everything can happen. For example, you can bring the king on the queen side, push your pawns and win, but uh, should be okay. And actually, if you check, black offers draw at some point and white declines. Mm, that's interesting. That's, mm. that's uh, quite brave of her. She had a lot of games going and she's like, yeah. no, like you said, killer instincts. Okay. Haluka is fighting, but now she's losing another piece. Okay. It will start to be too much at some point. Yeah. Once she castles, gets her rook in. Yeah. Nice. With the last board, we didn't check for a while and... Oh, yeah, she, yeah, up, she won uh, the queen. Uh, Sorry, I forgot. So she she won the queen. She worked that out. So okay. For in the, for example, in this game, she can be low on time. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, we forgot one game. I think for a while. Mm. The oh. the Fr the strange French. We completely yeah. forgot. The ah, she French. won queen. It. I think I pref I like your move more. If I I prefer. Now this I don't like. I think this kind of position you have to be slow. Like a three knight d two. And try at some point to go e5, knight c4, or knight e4 to have mm -hmm. some squares. Ah, but knight d7 is a very good move. Blacks want to put mm. the pawn like this. But okay, she said okay, it's, it was not good because you can't castle short castle, but he was planning to go long castle, so. Yeah, that's interesting. And look, the bishop on h4. It's very stupid because at some point g5, h5 can come. I guess if, if they're long castling, putting it on the the h2, b8 diagonal, playing f4 at some point, maybe trying to open it up. Uh, but still, that's quite hard to do, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, but yeah. the point you can't really move the pawn there with b3. Yeah. But oh, actually, the best would have been to have a knight here, maybe. But oh, you, you how can you unpin? And look what she found to to unpin herself. But oh, wow. It looks very ugly. So now bishop g3, and maybe black can try to go h5 at some point. Mm. I think she's. And also, sometimes some idea just to bring the knight on the knight square on f4. It's a diff difficult position. Yeah, I think she's slightly worse. Okay. Okay, but she has some idea. For example, 91, 94, and try to push B, but it, it looks quite slow. Huh? Yeah, no, I agree. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, tough, so tough games. What about board, board one? So it looks like they've uh, maneuvered a little bit. Yeah, I should try to find some counter play, but... Ah, but rook g7. Ah, but... Ah, but rook g7, she's winning. Hmm, interesting. So, what what do we have defending that? What if, uh... What about king to h8? I take and you pin. Queen takes queen, and then... Okay, yeah, you're right. Ah, she Pawn can takes. win in one move. Rook g7 is winning now. Wow, wow, yeah. that's exciting. But she's not on the board. She wants to see the baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Okay, okay. So she's she's gonna lose an extra two or three minutes per board, maybe. Yeah. Okay, but oh. rook g7 looks winning. Just what we missed. Yeah, I think. Ah, oh, she saw. Very nice. Okay, the not for the opponent, <laughs> but for her. Ah, uh, beautiful. So, so what's gonna happen? Rook takes and queen takes queen, yeah, then and the then the knight's totally over. It's like and the knight back to g. Only rook. G. Yeah, you need to go knight g6, and then I will just bring my knight next to it. It's just pinned, and you're dead. Wow. Yes. Well, there we go. Wow, and what a what a fight. 
Yes, it was like uh, we didn't expect this. No, it shows you how how tricky you can be. These are the tactics. This is what gets you back into the game. Oh, yeah. look, look, she chose my my ugly yes, move. But it was the best move. move. Yeah, well done. <laughs> wow, this I don't like. Ah, but yeah. look, uh, it was well rugby two. We really good move. Protecting yeah. the pawn on g2, threatening ninety five. So they decided to enter this end, this end game. So this is very very interesting because. Um, White has like a majority on the queen side, mm -hmm. but black uh, in the center. <laughs> yeah, norm so, normally you get a one pawn overlap. It's normally not two double pawn overlaps. Yes, exactly. So honestly, I have no idea. I will say, <laughs> I will say it's okay for black because there is only one open colon and it's for black. So in a in a position like this, would you want to keep two rooks on the board, one rook on the board? Like what? What would be going through your head if you had this Probably position? Probably white would like to trade one pair of hook. Okay, and then and try then and play on the pawn. Queen side. Okay. But uh, okay, this is very double edge. Mm. I think everybody can win this this end game. Okay. But probably black is not worse. I don't think so. I just turn my light on. It's getting quite uh... Okay. Now, but this end game is fantastic. He won g4, it's a good move, but now he can take en passant. Mm. But if he takes en passant, en passant suddenly he... looking a bit, bit drawerish now. Yeah, I believe it's a draw. Mm. Oh, there we go. So that was played. Take and. May... Maybe even g4. g4, h4, king e4. But you know, sometimes you have you need to be careful when you have um, a piece done because bl white can always move the bishop, and with mm -hmm. your pawn you will have to move, but you can't come back. <laughs> yeah. You can go uh, backwards. So. I don't know. Ob honestly, it should be okay for black. There is only two pawns left, and if you trade this pawn mm -hmm. for one pawn, it's a draw. Even if you lose your four pawns. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because the yeah so for example if she goes f5 h4 then g4 it's already draw so yeah. actually there is no way white is better anymore ah this is a good move because maybe you can't play f5 bishop take g5 but i guess you can start running uh ah, you, you can oh, sacrifice your a pawn maybe oh i would take this one no no so you would play something like uh h h4 first okay h4 Okay, let me remove the arrows. Um, okay, play this. I think I go. Ah, but if you go king f3, g4, trade the pawns directly. Mm. Maybe king f2. Well, what what I was thinking is that you can always just play a a5 in this position and but just I lose that pawn. Yeah, to distract the bishop. You know what I mean? And uh -huh. then uh, and then try to exchange on swap, the other side. Swap off the pawns. Yeah, because your king can always get back to that corner. Yes. No, okay, I predict a draw in this position. But it's, uh, yeah, a few things to think about, but probably probably a draw. Oh, look, she got another win. So, uh, oh, yeah, board, board one, she, uh, he resigned. Ah, yes, yeah. He played a very, okay, he played a bad opening. He a great then game. he played very well. Like this, all this c6, bishop e6, f5, and now all, all this tactic that is losing a piece, but he will win back the piece but maybe he played too fast just too fast because he totally outplayed her but uh, she was tricky fighting finally but i don't know why he didn't take the pawn yeah. mm. maybe this is where it started to going wrong because you need to take the pawn because yeah it's quite check, a clear quite a clear move as well i wonder what he was worried about like there's no counterplay because white would be completely pinned. But okay, it shows you you keep fighting to the end and uh, yeah. yeah, anything but can happen. Even here, he can still go on g6. But mm. okay, he just saw queen f5, he thought he was winning, he missed yeah. on g7. And that's often the case, isn't it? You get some tunnel vision, you think you've won the game, you stop looking for tactics, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's very easy to lose. Look, this same game. What about the pawn and game? Huh? Mm. Interesting. So I think I, I will take white in the pawn game, but maybe it's just a draw because I will put my pawn on 
on b4 or c5 a4 and put my king in the middle and mm. yeah it's for wait well would it come down to a um any sort of zugzwangs or these are quite easy to yes king, for example if i put my pawn broken. here it will be very dangerous for you mm. and for example okay white black can do this so mm. in this case my king can go here and you know, at some point it will be like a, a race mm. the question will be maybe i will go to d5 try to give some mate and i let you queen but mm. i give mate on b7 for example but mm. to be honest maybe it's just a draw huh? like mm. he will push upon on e4 i will push upon here and we will both wait with the king in front of the pawn maybe it's just a draw but she has mm. only four minutes so. mm. definitely a difficult one to calculate okay this one was interesting she played my move oh. like bishop a2 just to keep everything uh but very strange not never play 9g4 huh? mm. but now look i start to like white id okay knight h okay g5 can be an idea now so she took and um can i take now the pawn I probably can because if you take on e4 mm. with the bishop, I can go rook e1 and take on d4. So now d takes c4 is better because rook e1 and queen takes e4 is coming. Mm. Okay, so she's looking good. Hopefully she'll have the time. Yeah, and she, she's better on time. So, okay, this position, I'm quite optimistic for her. Oh, um, she's got another few victories. Yeah, but another lost. Huh? Look, he found another oh. tactics, the guy. Yeah, Maybe. Thomas Bond is very, very good player. So take and take the queen, but it's not enough pieces, huh? Yeah. It's totally winning. So she will lose one for sure. So you said she won four victory. Okay, she won on this board. Yeah, so like we she saw won that one. against Raluca. Okay, so Raluca finally finally threw in the towel. Yeah, and this one, oh, she gave a mate. Okay. Was <laughs> it a cute mate? Okay, okay, <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> you always try and uh, go for the pawn checkmates when... um. Yeah, you, you have so many pieces and more than your opponent. <laughs> okay, look, I, okay, I'm sorry to come back to the same position, but it, yeah. it's very funny. But... Okay, so now we're... I will have never played King E4. Because no G4, what does she want? Mm. Now it's starting to look a bit dangerous for white, yeah. Yeah, H4, F4. Wait, who's who's go is it? Uh, oh, black. So black played g4. Ah, but mm. look, look, one idea. She can bring the knight, the bishop to g3 and go no. Mm. But now it could be in a race in this case because when you go to a6, this king can go. Yeah. No, so. Tough yeah. one. Yeah, no, I think it's a draw. Just. What? Just sort of hold the middle. Yeah. Keep your king there yeah, and just say enough. okay. You need to stop the pawns at some point. For example, this you just you just go here and put the pawn, the bishop on f4, and you control both pawns. Makes sense. And the problem is you uh, it's not a good uh, square, so yeah. yeah. Okay, it will be a draw normally. Okay. It's not too bad. Uh, okay, here she's a piece up. So where were we? We were. Uh, no. Right, so this is where she won the early piece with ah, okay, uh, so the Okay, the guy is fighting well, but just is a piece down, so it's difficult. Yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult to fight with a piece down. <laughs> yeah, okay. What about the... Have you, ever, have you ever won a game, Matthew, that you were a piece down? No, but I, uh, I won much more. <laughs> no, I, for example, I drew against um, a Rapport. I was minus 10. Minus 10? Yes, in classical what, game. Report the, the Hungarian 2700. Yes, but my, wow. mo my most beautiful like um, tricks was, was one game. I was like three pawns down in some end game. Yeah. And I, I, I found like uh, in some calculations, some nice combination. I give pawn, uh, pawn, rook, yeah. knight, queen, and it yeah. was still mate at the end. Really? Wow, that sounds amazing. Yeah, I'll show you one day. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It sounds like another masterclass. Ready yeah. to happen. <laughs> okay, look, this one we didn't like the position after g5, h5. Okay, so he did, he did play your plan of h5. Yes, and okay. Okay, so she goes she down. She will now. lose this normally. 
Does she have any sort of counterplay like with Yeah, the... but the problem is at some point, you know, is I can play this black and play this way, open the bishop and give a square the d4 square mm. for the knight. I don't believe it's So it's very hard to, to get in there and cause right. trouble. Okay, okay, fair enough. Okay, she will have to, the best chance is to go king in two and try to play some end games. Mm-hmm. But um, okay, she's worse, definitely worse. Okay, yes, this pawn end game. Oh, but now she's g4. Interesting. Instead of a a4. I guess you don't. You no, don't. No, she to doesn't play. want to let e5 f5. But the question is, after f5, she wants, she wants to go here. Maybe you can you can you put the king in to e e5. Yeah. Yes, but the question is, for example, if you go too far. F4, yeah. the pawn is a pace pawn. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so they don't have to take straight away. Interesting. So, but maybe she wants h. Maybe she can go h4. Eh? Hmm. Pawn endgames are often some of the most complex endgames, yes, aren't they? Yes, it's unbelievable. <laughs> okay, I will have played a4 instead. Interesting. So she's trying to get some space. Yeah, okay, she wants e5. She wants to go here and go. I have, honestly, you know what? I think she can win this. Put it down on the winch. Short on time there. Our opponent has a lot of time to calculate this. Yes, but it looks he's not thinking <laughs> since the beginning. Why he will start to think now? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, okay, this position is very short, but he is a pawn up now. She. Okay. She wants to take the pawn on c4, but she played queen g4 first. I think it was unnecessary, but okay. At least she's on pawn up. But she needs to be careful sometimes about like this when queen takes b2 and the bishop mm. hasn't, doesn't have much uh, square. But she's ahead of on time, so it should be fine. Okay. I guess um, in those situations as well, you can always put one of your rooks up onto the second rank and that defends the bishop quite well so mm -hmm. exactly mm. okay she resigned against bon you yeah as expected that makes sense uh, she Gets wants, she wants f3 course. i think it was important to go king it because now d3 looks like a crushing when you move mm. the king is super weak now like this way actually it's just 14 and mate in one and if you take with the pawn it's mate in two and if you take with the rook you're losing the rook on a1 I guess I guess maybe she was nervous about um, something like rook h4 and then having to move the queen away and then taking on g2. Yeah, you're you're right. No, I just I just believe the position was lost. So. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you, what would you do? Would you keep fighting or would you resign that one? I will resign. Okay, look, okay. this. we forgot completely wow. this game. Okay. And look, so every piece is on the board. Huh? They just trade uh, two pawns, no? Yeah, yeah. So now it's like uh, nerves. Knight c1 is super strange, but she wants queen d2 and attack the knight. Wow, it's very complicated position. Uh, but I start to think uh, the knight on f4 is quite annoying. Maybe knight b3. Yeah, maybe three. I and you need to take probably queen take. Yeah. And, and you you don't allow me queen d two to to attack this mm. knight. But the time it's like very short. Three against four. Yeah, it's definitely a. Uh... So we need to remind you that we thirty seconds per move. So so when you're can we can we ask a question here? So when you're looking at a position like this. And you're trying to work out what the plan is. Like, do you normally look at your opponent's weak squares? Do you look at your pieces that aren't in good spots? Like, do you, do you look at it and go, you know what? If my knight on B1 was in was on G3, I would win this. And then you find a way to make that happen? Yeah, or like sometimes. How, how would you assess it? Sometimes. But I think here yeah, the best way is to think the opposite. What the strong part of your opponent in this knight. And I want to kick him off. But I think I can't. For example, I can also play g5 but you know this position d5 is a weakness but it can be a strong also if you mm. take on b6 queen take i believe that at some point d4 will come and black is better mm. i believe she's worse now okay i think so it's sort of I, like we didn't see uh, okay here she was better mm -hmm. 
Okay, look, she played like two bad moves in a row, and now black was okay. She forgot the, the square. So. Yeah, yeah I guess it, I guess it's quite difficult when you're jumping from game to game to game. You have to remember what your plans were. Yeah, exactly. But now I don't see much done. I mean, D4 will be a real problem at some point. Okay, she will fight on. She will try the walk, knight D2 probably. She will try to uh, try some pieces, but probably worse. Okay, tough. Well, hopefully okay. is her opponent short on time. He'll miss it. Wow, so uh, interesting. This is getting... a. Not a I nice told you that she will game. win, but I don't know how, but she will win. But uh, maybe just winning, no. I think, ah, maybe black has to go f4. This and e5. Just to keep the king one extra square away. Mm. Yeah, because the only way white's going to win this is, like we talked about, the king supporting the pawns. So... If you're black now, you have to think, how can we keep that king as far away as possible? But it's a pity I can't show the moves because I was thinking about some crazy line like f4, king d4, e5. Uh, I go h4, for example, you move the king and now I will start to push my pawns. And at some point I will like king take e5, f3 mm -hmm. and king d6 and try mm -hmm. to give mate. And sometimes it maybe it will be just queen, queen. Mm. So he's waiting. So I believe this is a mistake because now when we go here, it's mm. like uh, the pawn on f4 is um, is one step closer to the making a queen. Mm. So um, the point will be like at some point to push like c6, and we go queen d6. I will go queen king d6 f4 mm. c7 f3 c8 queen. Yeah. So, so I think she will win this. Interesting. I'm not yeah. sure, but. Uh, I believe she will win. But for example, you know, it's quite smart to go f5, f4, because you're one step one closer step to the queen. Yeah, makes perfect sense. I guess he was probably worried about defending his pawns, but often um, it's the runaway pawns in those end games that, that uh, win it for you. So uh, makes sense. Okay, it's crazy how many games are still lose. going. Like there's so many games in time, yes. time pressure. Now she will be losing. She's losing now just. Uh, everything looks winning. Yeah. Check, check. Yeah. <coughs> okay, it's, it's just mate. The queen is three and d two check, mm. and he's mating six probably. What? Oh, what happened? As she ah, she went. As she went my move, but I for, I forgot the same thing as her. <laughs> but okay, sometimes you know, it's maybe it will be a bit easier to defend this. Interesting. So, you yeah, you wouldn't be thinking, how can I checkmate? Get the, get the bishop onto d3, checkmate on the back rank. Yeah, but odd to you know. Yeah, like, very difficult. This knight, this knight is like, uh, and we can't we can't do this because queen take f2. Yeah. Nah, yeah, it's, looking, it's probably lost. That's unfortunate. But look, this game still going on with the piece down, piece up, and uh, mm -hmm. guy is fighting well. So which one you prefer now? Which one do I prefer? Oh look, let's go back to the pawn end game because that was uh, he was moving quite quickly. So uh, she played a different pawn to what oh, you were saying. This is super strange to put this one. But I guess uh, it's the same same sort of idea. Okay, our idea is to take, push b seven, take I, I, king d seven, f three. I, I, I guess here she can just play something like h four. And then the king has to go back, and then. Ah, you win king. one tempo, you mean? So h4, yeah. king b7, yeah. king d6. Yeah. Okay, let's remove the arrows. Now h4, yeah. king here, yeah. queen, king d6, f4, Check. six six, take this, f3, queen, and yeah. if, ah, so you're right. H4 is winning now. Yeah. yeah. If she sees it, but. If you know, because I, if think, you go I, think, H3, I think she wins anyway. <laughs> if you go h3, there is h4. Oh, interesting. <laughs> and then it's a uh, it's probably Joe, no? but probably I think not. h4 is ah, uh, she may ah, oh, she took no, but it's what I said earlier f4, b7, take king d7, f3. Okay, the check. same plan works. c7, but no, the problem is it's draw. Ah. It's queen queen. She missed the win with h4. Oh no. 
She played such a beautiful move beforehand. Oh, well. Well, maybe unless she sees something, like maybe there's a way to check and win the queen or probably not, no. It definitely looks like a draw now. No, I'm a bit, actually it's not a draw because at the end we can win the pawn on g6. Like okay. queen. So, so she, she she chose the most complicated way to win. She has to go here, this for sure. Yeah. King b6, this, 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 this. Queen. And now... Check and then take queen on. Queen c6 check and take. So maybe it's still winning. Okay. She chooses the hard way. Maybe she likes playing chess so much. No, you know? I think she just missed H4. <laughs> and she must be so tired. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, how long have we been going for now? An hour and a half. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> um, okay, still a draw, but Ooh. here you need to come back as yeah. far as possible, no? Yeah, I think he's trying to work out. But he will finish the game with more than 30 minutes, huh? definitely. Yeah, it's crazy how fast he's playing. So he could lose this now, yeah? Like no, if he, he, he can't. The king is within the box? Yeah. Well, not if not if he goes back, though. Look. She's, trying to, she's trying to trick him one last time to uh, hopefully defend his pawn. Look, she was mate on the board. Yeah, there was mate. Oh, no. And oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Check point. It's nice. Uh, that was a good fight back. Like you said, when you put your bishops on some bad squares, she um she didn't think castling queenside. You, you know, you think so often when your opponents always castle kingside, um, your mind sometimes gets stuck in that routine. But is it, castling queenside is quite threat. What what side do you prefer to castle, Matthew? Depends. My mood. If I want to <laughs> to attack, when I was younger, I was long casting. But, yeah. Uh, now sometimes I can play some safe end game and. Okay, but what about this crazy game? Oh, so many pieces on the board. Mm. But she's better what? on time and better on position. So. Yeah. She's attacking this pawn. Maybe. And then what? But then rook takes. Oh no, you can't. Okay. No, because the queen is hanging. Maybe yeah. rook v6, but it looks strange. But ah, okay, look, the, it's 36 seconds. So I guess he wants to start threatening the back rank now. Maybe queen f3. Queen f3, queen e3 you know yeah, to keep the b3. id the rook on b8 on, on b6 can be hanging mm. okay she's okay she's threatening this that's tricky and when the rook is moving she wants to take and what and about take. rook e? mm. I don't maybe know. maybe that's when you play queen f ah queen f3 queen and f3. you will win the pawn on on a6 but the pawn f4 will be hanging at the end and B2 is hanging. Okay, it's not over, but I think she will win because she's better on time. No, no, what about, what about for example, um, so for example, the rook's on F, uh, sorry, the rook's on C6, she plays queen F3, you rook, go where rook. Rook C8, oh, he play with one second. Yep, so so queen F3, rook. Yeah, then rook C8. rook C8, and then rook takes A6, Six. Queen rook take... takes F4, yes. and then you play rook A1. Rook eight, I mean. Check, check, check. You are the but two it's not mate. Position. No, because no. Because I can it's... go knight f8 and king h7 at the end. Yeah, and then you then you take his other rook. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe that's too complicated. Maybe that's over complicated. She <laughs> won this first, and but the problem is rook a8, rook c8. Which pawn are you taking? Because uh, if you take on a6, I can take on f4. Okay, she's better, but. Uh, Maybe she wants to go just c3 just to keep yeah, play, play the position. Sensible. But maybe g5? Maybe g5? Okay, but he will fall on time. Yeah, he fall on time. Okay. That must be relieving. <laughs> look, look what happened. Okay, so. Interesting. But okay. why? It's... Ah, because if this, that was queen g4 check winning the pawn. Mm. Ah, but you yeah. know what she can? She could have played some tricky mm. idea. Queen g4 check, king here, and if you take, queen a3 mate. Uh -huh. That's cute. But then you just go check, check, check. <laughs> but where? No, no. Um... Queen d6, queen g4, king. Ah, you have check here. Because on the other check, I want to counter check. Ah, yeah, that's So it true. was very tricky. Okay, she did this, and not the pawn. This pawn is much stronger than this one. Mm. 
So what do you can you look at this end game and go whether it's a win a draw? I don't know. Okay, okay. I I will take white for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> because the king is much better, the pawn is better. So you know, it, actually, this is it looks stupid, but it's very important. There is an easy way to judge the position. Just compare mm -hmm. the pieces. Here, the two queens are about equal. But the king are clearly better for white and the pawn clearly better for white. So of course, white is playing for win. So, so if, for example, an end game like this, if black didn't have their pawn, can um should can be black, winning. No, can it black just always win. find checks forever, or no, it no, it should be winning with the pawn on g6 because okay. it's quite easy to hide the king. Okay. But what something some people don't know. Sometimes it's good to have the king quite far in this case because the main idea with white is when we check, 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 check. We want mm -hmm. to train the queens and if the king is too close for example on d4 it will be easier to trade the queens mm, interesting but i think she will win just quite yeah. easily this for example uh, she can take the pawn already yeah he just lost his pawn yeah yeah he will finish with 23 minutes but he will lose <laughs> So how many games remain? Ah, but I ah, know that was this one, but it's crazy. It's still going on. Yeah, still fighting, still fighting. Yeah. Not not for very long, I think. Yeah. Now the queen is hanging, and knight f6, followed by the discovery check, probably, will be strong. So let's fin finish this end game now. Yeah. Because even if he has twenty three minutes, he will play fast anyway. So. No, yeah. I believe what? it's quite easy to win. You know that there is a rules on the some queen in game. People doesn't know. The best square for the queen, it's mm. not on those four squares. In general, it's better to put the queen on those four squares. Oh really? Yes, Why? they're covering more more squares. Really? No, more squares on the side of the board you need. Mm. For example, here, if White put the queen on f5, you can see how easily they can hide the king and um intercept the check with the queen move checking the other king it's some rules like i learned like recently and vache lagrave said this in some interview it's a rule is old coach uh Spirinonov, international master from bulgaria say that you, the best square for the queens in queens and game is those four squares oh. that's interesting it's, it's crazy how much you can learn about chess um, like even these simple concepts, like that, um, I've never heard of that before, actually. Mm. But this is what I really great. like. I like to make things, try to make them easy, but think very complicated to make some like rules that everybody can use when they, when I understand it. And how do, how do you feel um, with Alpha Zero coming on the scene? As, do you think it's made chess more complicated or more simple? Mm, both, yeah. No, this is a very good question because um, what I like it's they bring some new stuff, new approach that you can you can understand the moves, but it's also put some position. You have like four pawns down, and it's uh, it's still better for you. It's not easy to understand and to play. And the problem is some people like Evan Carlson try to play like them, but uh, we are not computer. Yeah, I remember um, on our Celtic Tigers team, um, Richard had a position because he just read the book. Um, this is one of our other players. And he said he remembers reading the Alpha Zero book and it said that here you are plus 2.1. And he remembers sitting there looking at the position going, I'm dead lost. How do I possibly win this? Um, and he lost very quickly. And it just shows um, <laughs> look, the look, level of complexity, isn't it? This game is over. She was... Getting mated at the end. Bishop d2, nice move. If king g1, there is mate in one. Uh, knight h3. Again, okay. and, and, and it looks like uh, she won the other the other board as well. Yeah. The uh, pawn end game. Yeah, so I think till here it was okay. But I think black played very good game. Black played very, very good game. I think the, the best, the best move, bad move for me is this before. <laughs> the theory. Yeah? Which one you said she won? So she won the pawn in game board too. Uh, he ah, resigned. Nice. Very respectful. Very respectful. Yeah, but she missed. I think it was draw the pawn in game, but Black was too slow to push the pawns. Then she missed a nice win with h4. 
like some Zugzong, yeah? H4, but finally she went to this queen and game with very good chance of winning, yeah? Mm. And okay, he resigned just, okay. And is it over? And then one one game left. Okay, so she just won the last game as well, board, uh, board six, yeah. yeah. So okay. she finally got a checkmate after. <laughs> okay, she win the, you know, this is typical, huh? She won a piece in the opening, then she won 60 moves because she tried everything and win the end game. But sometimes it's good to do this, especially when you're playing like uh, many games, because uh, it's like the easy stuff. You don't have yeah. to think much on this board. You just trade pieces and play slowly and surely. Excellent. So that's uh, that's all the games. So how did she end up going? So seven victories, one draw, three defeats. Do you think she'll be happy with that? You want me to ask her? Or? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's ask her if she's not too tired. <laughs> okay, I will ask her. I will. <laughs> Okay. Um, and just for people watching, uh, if you look up Hammersmith Chess Club on YouTube, uh, we have a lot of videos that we've been posting. We've had symbols with John Spielman, uh, Simon Williams, Ginger GM, quite a lot of uh, very interesting characters have come along. Um, also, if you if you want to play a symbol against our club or, or give us some training sessions, you know, we'd, we'd love to invite you um, to, to a stream and yeah, mm -hmm. check us out at hammerchess.co.uk. Hello. Hello! Hi! How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. I was really suffering in this uh, simultaneous <laughs> because I made some very bad uh, bad uh -huh. moves sometimes. Yeah, because you look and like... Plenty of yeah. manners. How do, how do you feel that? Maybe uh, a bit unlucky or time pressure? or? At some point I started to panic a bit about my time, yeah. So I started to play fast and bad. <laughs> And uh, yeah, at some point I just had to feed my baby and I couldn't see anything anymore. What <laughs> a test common problems nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyway, it was fun and it was nice to play some some chess uh, after a, a little break. Did, did you have a favorite game? A favorite game? Actually, I so was super lucky in one of the games, but the end was quite nice with uh, Rook. Uh, yeah, board one against Kisha mm. Patni. Yeah, I was completely lucky because I played really bad and I was upon them. But I don't know how it's possible that I was so lucky at the end. I mean, yeah, really. If you want to switch, you have to click. Yeah. No. Sorry, I'm coming. <laughs> you can scroll down. Yeah, so basically I... Yeah, because it looked quite good in the opening, and then it just seemed to f fall apart a yeah. little bit. What did he play to wrong, actually? Oh, actually, it was nice that he could have said the piece, you mean? I mean, after rook e1 and bishop f5, I don't win a piece because he has this uh, pin on the e file. Yeah, we were talking about why why you didn't take back the um, bishop on d3 with the queen. Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> it was strange decision by me okay. to do this. Yeah, I have no explanation. That's why you say, be quiet, I'm a master. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, not really, I don't know. It was not so smart to double these pawns, but especially because I lost one of them quite soon after. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I made some very strange decisions. But... Well, Matthew always said every position, we're like, what do you think she will do? And he says, oh, she will attack. <laughs> She'll go for the checkmate. <laughs> I tried to attack, but it didn't work well all the in all the games, so yeah. What else? Um, I will check the other positions. What I had ah, against Freddy. Ah, I was so much better, and then I made such a stupid decision by playing d4. Yes. And c5 was very well played by him because I completely missed this uh, idea, and I think I just lost the pawn. Yeah, def definitely. We were having a look at that. Um... But you know, at some point, I wanted to play knight takes e6 here after queen takes f4. I thought I can play, my idea was to play knight takes e6, but he can take with the pawn, queen d8, rook d8, rook d8, king g7, rook d7, king h6, rook b7, and queen e4, and I lose one of my rooks. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if you see the position, but... Uh, yeah, 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 we can see. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, this idea didn't work. I mean, it was my idea when I played the uh, queen d3. And I said, okay, I will just bring the, back the pawn and... But why you didn't put the other rook on d1? On d1, other rook... Uh... Yeah, good question. It was... Because take d4, b3, and at least you have the rook on the Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, I told you sometimes I made some irrational decisions. But, I have no explanation. <laughs> but this this game is funny because in the end game, Chris showed me the win for oh. you. Did I miss something? Yes. I, I, I love end games. They're like my favorite part of chess. <laughs> okay. Yes, I but think. This should be winning for me. No, no, no not at all. No, not at all. But my. Y you can always turn on the engine yeah, if you want, but it's no, not that much. Okay, I don't need engine. You uh, I go F5, E5. And it's yeah, true. E5. E yeah, E5, F5 first. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But look at the end, what is quite funny. Okay, this I, I'm not sure, but here we don't care. Here, blacks has to go F4. And E5. And E5 at yeah. least you are one yeah. step closer. But look what Chris said here. You can go H4. King ah, b7, yeah. king d6, and you win like a big tempo. Black is not even making a queen. I didn't even think about it. I was in panic at this point. I, <laughs> <laughs> I started to panic and I just wanted to play fast. So Yeah, but that's sensible. Like, you know, otherwise what, you win one or two but lose six. So. But, f you know, one game it was funny uh, where I was a piece up and I think at some point my opponent at the end, he was it even better? He offered me a draw and I was like, come on, you're a piece down, why are you offering me a draw? And then I realized that I'm not a good square, you know, with my e pawn, ah. I cannot win. I didn't realize till the very last moment that oh, really? this position <laughs> is not winning for me. Ah, <laughs> we saved the long before. I couldn't draw, I was like, okay, I was just on the spawns and I would promote and I was like, Oh, it's not too good. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, but you know, I think we can forgive you. Your brain must get like game, 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 different plans. Is it, is it quite difficult having to remember what you were planning? Yeah, actually, and it's, I think it was, a, it was the first time that I was playing the simultaneous exhibition uh, online. So it was, uh, I mean, just a bit different. I, I mean, not, not something very complicated, but you need some time to get used to it. So yeah, yeah so. No, definitely. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, we'll, we'll sort of end it there. I'm sure you want to rest, and I'm sure your daughter probably wants to have a cuddle. Um, <laughs> um, thank you so much for taking the time, both of you, um, playing our club today. I think it's very much appreciated by the members. And, um, yeah, just thanks from all of us here in Hammersmith. Thank you thank for you. the invitation. Uh, I really enjoyed it, but uh, unfortunately, I'm not very happy with my level, so <laughs> I'm not sure I will be able to fall asleep very easily tonight. <laughs> I will just ask myself, why you did this? Why you did that? How can you play so bad? Oh, no. Yeah, but anyway, oh. it was fun, and I hope it was not too boring for you to follow cool. my games. No, definitely not. Definitely Sometimes not. I was making some stupid decisions that, you know, it's like, what? <laughs> I'm sure Macho was a bit nervous from time to time, and I was like, what is she doing? What is she doing? <laughs> I was just more nervous when I forgot to put the sun at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> thank, thank you for those that told us there was no sound that's good a good shout out cool. okay. okay thank you very much right. so, thank you and bye. good night cool. bye thank you good night <laughs> see you